Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to create a quick impact logo reveal animation in Adobe After Effects. And with this tutorial video, we are moving towards logo animations. So this is a pretty cool looking logo reveal animation, which you can easily use to animate your brand identity. That is your logo. So let's see that what we are going to create today. So this is the quick impact logo reveal animation that we are going to create today. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool to look at, but let me tell you, it is pretty simple to create too. So let us start with our tutorial and see that what steps we need to follow. First of all, when you have opened your After Effects, press Ctrl N to create a new composition. Now I'm naming it as quick impact logo reveal but uh, you are free to choose any name for your composition what you got to do is just put the width as 1940 and the height as 1080 pixels with a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 10 seconds then hit ok now i have already imported some of the files into my after effects so you got to do the same and these files are a background image that we're going to use for our logo, a texture image that is going to provide texture to our logo, then uh, is our logo itself, which we have pre-composed and named it as logo texture. And this is a smoke explosion video. Uh, you are free to choose any of these images or videos as per your choice, but if you want these same, then I will share their download link in the description so you can just copy them and download these same images. First of all, just grab onto your background image and uh, bring it to your area, work area and adjust its dimensions like this. Then go to effects and presets and search for an effect called brightness and contrast and apply it onto your background layer. Now uh, just adjust a few settings and change the brightness to a negative 30 and a contrast to a negative 15. Now when you do that you will find this kind of a and that is exactly the background that we need for our quick impact logo animate. Next uh, you just uh, grab your logo texture pre-comp onto your main composition area and uh, once you have got it you got to pre-compose it once again and this time uh, I'm going to name it as logo main. Now once you open your logo main you will find that this logo texture pre-comp is already present in it. Then just grab onto your texture layer like this and adjust it so that it aligns perfectly with the logo. What I have done over here is just trying to avoid these cracks from occurring onto my logo. Now change the track mat of your texture layer to alpha mat logo texture. Now turn on the visibility of your logo layer. Go to effects and presets and search for an effect called gradient wipe. Now apply it onto your logo layer and change the gradient layer to the texture layer. Now you can see that there is no change over here. So just go back to your logo layer and change its mode to a multiply. Now as soon as you do that, you will see that your logo has been changed in texture and now its texture is similar to that of this other texture layer that we just imported and that's exactly what we want. Then uh, while on the effects and presets, search for an effect called turbulent displays under distort Apply it again to your logo layer, change the size uh, to a 4 and change the amount to an 80. Now this is too much so I'm going to change the amount to a 60. Now just go to your logo texture layer once again, right click, go to layer styles and select bevel and emboss. Now expand this bevel and emboss and increase the size to around and 18 then 
then just change the highlight opacity to a 50 percent and this is what our logo looks like and i'm pretty happy with it and once you are happy just return to your main comp and here make uh, both of your layers that is the background layer and the logo layer as 3d by clicking on this box icon then press s to bring up the scale for the logo layer and scale it down to around 80 percent or 81 percent is okay then press r to bring up the rotation values and change its z rotation to a minus 15 degrees come to around once again in time and press p to bring up position keyframe the value of position now move for uh, move backward in time by a few frames uh, we have moved to around 15 frames and increase this value of the z coordinate to a negative number so that your logo is just away from the area of visibility so that's what we have got and if we just preview our animation from the very first frame so you must have noticed this orange bar for that just change your resolution to a quarter okay so that isn't looking very impressive so just select both of these keyframes press f9 to easy ease them go to the graph editor and change its shape to something like this Now if we just preview our animation, okay it looks good to me. What we are going to do is just apply motion blur to it and that's it. Now if you want you can just decrease the area between these two keyframes to make sure that this logo animation is moving a little bit faster. Next what we are going to do is just import this uh, smoke layer into our after effects composition just below our logo layer and change its mode to a screen now press t to bring up opacity and just decrease its opacity to a 60 percent now at this particular frame this logo is about to impact on our background and this is exactly where we want our smoke layer to start so if we just preview it okay we need to uh, just play with some of the values over here that is the timing until you get a perfect look for your logo like this so this is exactly where this timing matches and what is this is what i'm going to keep but i'm going to just change its opacity to a 50 percent for a very subtle and a light effect okay now what i'm going to do is just duplicate my logo main and uh, the layer that is below i'm just going to rename it as shadow because i'm going to add a shadow effect for my logo over here for that go to effects and presets and search for the fill effect apply it on the shadow layer then search for an effect called CC Radial Fast Blur and apply it again. Now just change the color to a black and change the radial amount to an 80. Now if we just preview our animation, so this is the logo reveal animation that we have got now press r to bring up rotation and move forward to around uh, three seconds keyframe the value of the z rotation and move to around uh, five seconds and change its value to a zero degrees now if we just preview our animation from the very first frame So this is what we have got and from here this you can see that the logo is changing to a zero degree rotation and that is looking cool. What you can do is just select all these layers and pre-compose them together to any name. Make it a 3D then add a new camera layer with a 35mm preset press OK. 
go back to the very first frame press p to bring up position just keyframe the value of position then move forward to around 5 seconds and just zoom in into your animation a little bit like this so now if we just preview our animation for one final time so this is what we have got and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye